There are two main connections to draw between agricultural commodity prices and the value of our currency relative to the US dollar. Number one, many agricultural commodities are priced in US dollars, and a strong US dollar is usually associated with lower commodity prices. Number two, the local price producers receive depends on the exchange rate from US to Canadian funds. Let me address the first point. A stronger US dollar means that other currencies will be weaker. And commodities are more expensive for buyers if they need to convert their local currency at a less favorable exchange rate. It will lower the demand of commodities and that will push prices lower. So everything else being equal, a low US dollar is good for commodity prices and a strong US dollar would be not necessarily a good thing for commodity prices. But if the US dollar is heading higher, it usually means our Canadian dollar is moving lower. And this has some benefits. Canadian producers obtain a higher price in Canadian dollar when converting US dollar denominated prices. Most of the commodities that we sell are priced first and foremost in US dollars. A lower Canadian dollar also makes our exports more competitive in international markets, which also supports the sales of Canadian products. There are two ambiguous impacts here. A low US dollar may be positive for commodity prices, but hurts our competitiveness in foreign markets. And the opposite is true as well. A high US dollar means a softer demand for commodities and potentially lower commodity prices, but makes us more competitive in global markets. Overall, I would say that we're better off in a low Canadian dollar environment. Supply and demand determine the value of the Canadian dollar against a foreign currency. That is, it's directly connected to the demand Canadians have for other countries' products, that is what we import, and the demand that other countries have for our products, what we export. For example, Canada exports millions of barrels of oil a day to the United States. Oil is a commodity priced in US dollars. The higher the demand for oil, and the higher the price is, the higher the demand for Canadian dollars is going to be because Canadian exporters must convert the proceeds of their sales into Canadian dollars. So that will tend to increase the value of the Canadian dollar. Historically, the Canadian dollar relative to the US currency and the price of oil tend to move in the same direction. But it's not just about oil. Let's look at the 2016-2019 period. The Canadian dollar clearly gained value against the US dollar between 2016 and the middle of 2017. There's then a steady decline in the value of the Canadian dollar starting in the summer of 2017. Now, overlay the value of a barrel of oil on top of the value of the loonie. There's a clear connection between the two lines. Oil prices move upward during the appreciation of the Canadian dollar. But there are also times when the price of oil and the value of the loonie did not move together. Specifically for a 12-month period between 2017 and 2018. Factors other than oil were driving the Canadian dollar then, including changes in interest rates. Changes in interest rates by the Bank of Canada or the US Federal Reserve have an impact on the Canadian dollar relative to the US dollar. When interest rates in one country go up, investors will move capital where they'll get the highest return. That means there will be more demand for one currency relative to the other. That will drive up the value of the currency where interest rates are moving higher. So how is the value of the Canadian dollar determined? Well, it's mostly supply and demand. Given the export status of many sectors in agriculture and agri-food, a lower loonie is usually seen as a positive driver of profits. But there are instances in which a low Canadian dollar is not such a good thing, as when you need, for example, to purchase inputs that are priced in US dollars. It is difficult, if not impossible, to forecast exchange rates with any degree of precision. So large investments that require converting Canadian dollars into a foreign currency should be planned over time, and currency conversions should be carried out in various stages to hedge against unexpected fluctuations in exchange rates. Also recognize that fluctuations in the loonies value will cause fluctuations in commodity prices. So accounting for currency volatility is a critical input into marketing plans.